This is called the hook. You on my mind a lot. Don't need no time, watch. I don't know how I got you in my pocket spot. Yeah, this bay, miss you every day. You like my oxygen. Make it seem like the bar today. Pagani Wyra Roadster has a V12 bi-turbo. makes about 700 horsepower. This is about three minutes. Got my heart, no barging in. From the to the flow to the couch. Porsche 918 Spider V8, roughly two million. Well, in the end, we're gonna make the cap. Bugatti Veyron Grand Sport Vitesse, one of 16, makes over 1,200 horsepower, roughly 3 million. 992-911 Turbo S, stock, these make roughly around 700 horsepower. This thing is tuned up to make over 1,000 horsepower, 250. 1995 E36 M3 Lightweight. It was owned personally by Paul Walker. Priceless. Lambo Urus Performante. 267,000. 2001 BMW Z8 200 ballpark. Got my heart, no. 1979 Trans Am Firebird. The most on brand car for Peter McKinnon. This is the one. 30, 40 grand? I could make this work. You could even drive out of here with it. Don't say those things to me. <laughs> can we take this one? Uh, I think we can make that happen, except you're driving it. There's no way I'm driving it. Pete's a little shy, he's nervous. Uh, hold on, hold on. Today's the day you drive a Pagani. <laughs> I've never seen it. Not the day, it's not happening. This is the coolest fob I've ever seen in my entire life. This incredible little toy car. Ford, why aren't you making these? This could be a cute little Raptor. You have the dirtiest fob in the game. Here's Ford's. That's fob. horrible. You're missing the whole bottom. To change your to change your tire, oh, you have yeah, to put it's it gutless, in. Dude, and then it's I lost pure it. Pure scum. That's the future. How do I actually use it? Does this have like a secret? <laughs> and then it starts. It just goes in the cup holder. Just put it where that is. And then well, it fits perfect. Oh, I, dude, I actually didn't it even fits know that. Perfect. I have never Come look done at this. That. Watch. Perfect. And then big red start button right there in the middle. There you go. And then now hold it. I don't use gimbals often, but when it comes to a car like this, we're using the crate. Hot damn, take my clothes off. We should probably get to work. The best part of the day is gone because we just got so excited taking photos. <laughs> yeah. But this isn't about photos, this is about the it. crane. And so far, I'm stoked on the crane. All right, ready? One-handed with that wrist guard actually works so well. Another nice feature is the LED indicators. So when you're balancing a gimbal, instead of just trying to figure out if you can get it and you don't know, and it's wrong, and then it's right, then it's kind of wrong, then it's kind of right, those LEDs light up white when you got it, red when you don't. So that's like, I don't know why that hasn't been done in a gimbal before. Very, very nice. Pull up a bit closer. Yeah, 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 right there. All right, let's try to maintain this with a bit of speed, both of us. Yeah. The buttons are perfectly placed, especially if you're holding it with two hands to move the gimbal left to right. The controls are pretty streamlined. Like, this is the first time I'm using this, and it feels like I've been using it forever. I guess, twist my arm. <laughs> up, up. Yeah. You 
can't even see out of this windshield. How do you get it into drive? Oh, that felt good. That's a good one. That felt yeah. that felt like three million dollars good. On your mark. It looks like Tony Stark's heads up display. Part of me wants to just max for stab in this thing and be like, yo, do I have fastest lap? Purple sectors all day. This is the view of views. This is the heart of America right here. Yeah. Oh, I'm having a great time. I can't keep my mouth closed. I am not the same as these cats. I sneak up they Just for the record, he was saying, I'm not getting close to the car, I'm not touching the car. And then he sat in the car. Right there. Oh my gosh. Oh, listen to that. Oh. Oh my gosh. Right here, give it juice, give it juice right here. Like a lot. A lot, a lot. The clicks, the tactile switches. It's all a repetition, ain't a secret. Go hard! Did it change your tire? So the way the tires sit are meant to be out here mobbing, and they're sitting to the cambers too too soft. We've literally lost this much tread for the oh last two days. Oh my goodness. I don't have problems like that in New Market. <laughs> My Raptor is in its natural habitat, the Costco parking lot. That's true. That's true. <laughs> We're out here in the salt flats. Started this journey at 6.30 a.m. I know. We got, okay, we wanted to bring the 1930 Model A all the way out here to the salt flats to film more of this gimbal video and get some epic footage. Apparently, Henry Ford used to test oh, yeah, the test Model A out here. We got out here and it's flooded. It's all water. All right, new plan, I guess. Sometimes that happens, folks. Just gotta roll with it. We don't have salt flats, but what we can do is a cinematic tire change. I ain't the one to rely on the luck. This is for sale if you want it, by the way. Besides the tire, it's good, but it's going. Dude, we went from epic salt flats to filming this video at a gas station while you yeah. change a tire. Welcome to reality. This is a good lesson. Oh yeah, filmmakers. Sometimes you gotta make the best of what you got. And right now it's gas station and two jacks on this truck. Look, dude, all I know is you're 12 minutes in, you promised me a 15 minute change. All right, well, these clowns changed that tire. I will hide a roll of Portra 800. Pump three. I hid it under this thing so it would stay dry. So pump number three under this thing, Bonneville Salt Flats. Yo, did I ever tell you that I hate this rim color? Yeah, you did. It's pretty gutless. A little balance. That little LED light in the front is pretty sick. That little light in the front with the diffuser, even if it's just for your camera to focus, that actually changes temperature too. It's not just one setting. That's one of those little thoughts. It's the same as the wrist guard. It's the same as the handles. They're tiny, thoughtful little things that make the experience better. And if it's between focusing a shot and not having focus at all, I'll take the focus. The most attractive thing of the new Juin Crane here, I think is the price. I mean, if you rewind years and years and years, just trying to get any type of equipment that would steady an image was tens of thousands of dollars. Completely out of range of most people, most creators, etc. The fact that you can get this crane for less than $700 dollars is wild especially from someone that doesn't typically like to use gimbals too much but when you need them you need them and the footage looks really really good and it's obviously industry dependent as well especially if you're doing automotive stuff gimbals are used all the time and when i say less than 700 dollars it's actually 669 that's just that's a good deal and final time 26 26 show me that what is that just a cool little oh that's cool pete's cowboy life Literally. Was it harder balancing a gimbal or changing this tire? Oh, changing the tire. The gimbal's so easy. <laughs> you just intuitive, has little sensors and lights on the side. <sighs> Juin, thank you. Number 
Remember that 1979 Trans Am? I'm gonna try and buy it off him today. 